Hello Strange Things and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while and we are deep into the October haunt season, but I wanted to kick off a new series where I was discussing a lot of the different haunted houses and haunted attractions that I personally have attended this season, whether they help you out with the next two weekends of you headed over to any of the haunts in the area of North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Virginia, or if you want to note them for next year, that is perfectly fine. Um, like I said, I have a little bit of a late start happening. So there are several that I've already been to and several more to come. But my first one that I went to this year was the Haunted Forest at Panic Point. Um, I'm not really sure what my rating system is going to be uh, moving forward. Uh, it would make sense to probably do Frankenstein Heads since I usually have Frankie in the background during Halloween. Um, but I would give this attraction four Frankenstein Heads out of ten, in all honesty. Um, it definitely was not... There was no wow factor... When I was there, there was no real good deep scares that really got to me. There was nothing that really screamed like, man, they're on point. Like, this is a great attraction. I want you guys to definitely go and check it out. At this point, it's one that I might go to next year just to see if it's any different. But for this season, it's one that I would not spend money on in all and complete honesty. Um, and it had nothing to do with the waiting in line. I usually don't mind waiting in line and talking to the people that I'm there with. Um, there were long waits that we had to deal with. There was like the entire night waiting to go into the main attraction that took about three to four hours of us waiting for our number, number to be called to enter. There was a two hour wait to go into the dark trail, but it just seemed like there wasn't a lot of care that went into the attraction as far as the actors didn't seem super into it. They almost missed their marks like 90% of the time. There was no actors in the midway to kind of hype people up to get them ready for the attraction itself or any of the mini attractions that were there. Um, the way that it was set up, like I said, there was a, a middle section which is normally called the midway point. They had a DJ and a dance floor. There was like two or three bonfires that you could sit around to get warm. They had some concession stands and some merchandise, but all the attractions were around on the outside with the very back being the haunted forest itself. So you had a couple different attractions that you could go to and you got a wristband such as this where they would mark off this one is for Clayton Fear Farm but it was like this but yellow they marked off um, how many attractions you had been to or had used and we didn't even get to go into all of them it wasn't necessarily we did not have time to go into them it was more so we were afraid that if we went and stood in line for like say the Haunted Hayride which looked like it was another hour and a half wait similar to the first line that we were in we might miss the opportunity to go into the Haunted Forest because literally we waited to go into the Haunted Forest and as we were walking out they were doing a last call for the, the la anyone who hadn't already gone in could go and do like one final walk through but everything else seemed like it was closed down so we definitely would have missed it and that would have been horribly upsetting because we purchased the combo package to do everything and that was the main portion of it and we would have missed it. So there was like a corn maze, which we did do. It was not super tall. It was very dark. Um, the corn seemed very matted down and not well maintained. Um, there was very wide pathways and a lot of the exits that they had um, kind of went off into like where the haunted hayride would be or like into the parking lot. So you kept getting confused as to, well, this is an opening, but it's not the exit. And we had to keep going to find out where that one was. And then next to that was the hayride. Like we said, we weren't able to go into that one. Then there was the haunted or the spooky forest, whatever it is, in the very back. We got to go into the 3D clown trailer, which I will say was probably my favorite out of all the attractions. I thought the art in there was beautiful. There was less of a strobe light effect. The actors were a little bit better as far as hitting their marks. There was the dark trail, which was the first thing that we waited on going into, and it was very disappointing to walk through because it is essentially, yes, what it says it is. It is a dark trail that has no lights. It almost seems dangerous because there's not like a clear flat path lights in the woods, so there's a lot of vines, step downs that you don't notice right away. Um, there were no good scares in it, and there was too many strobe lights either like this or there'd be a light and then a long period of darkness and then another flash of light. So you really missed the craftsmanship that went into building that specific set and or area. You didn't really get to be immersed into anything. You just kind of walked waiting until you kind of ran into, oh, here's a, like, a little house that you walk through and then it was done. It, there was a lot of missed opportunity. Um, either they needed more actors or they needed to have more skilled actors that would be more like stalkers along the trail. Um, there was another attraction off in the corner behind where they had like a zombie shooting game. I have no idea what that one was. I think it was another form of a haunted like a corn maze that like the actual people were inside of unlike the other one. And I'm 
curious as to how this review might be different if we had actually gone on every single attraction and maybe had gotten there earlier to see if maybe at the beginning of the night the actors are fresh, they're on point. It might have been a little bit more scary than us coming a little bit later at 9 o'clock and it had opened at 7. But it was not, there was no good jump scares in it. And then our final event, which is the Haunted Forest, the whole main point of what this is based and built off of. And there was a lot of good sets. There was a lot of good characters within it. But the best part of it was almost like the very dead end. There was somebody who was kind of like climbed up on a wall and like they were contorted funny. And it looked really cool. And it was actually kind of like you get taken aback by it. But that was it. And that was at the very end. So they missed a lot of opportunities up until that point. It was a, it was a decent walk. Um, There's a lot of different themes that were in there, but it was just not great. So, four. It was like a 30, 40 minute drive to get there, which wasn't the best. They didn't have a phone number that you could like talk to somebody. They had a recording and then a number that you could text, which we were texting them and didn't get a response. And then, I'm trying to think. There was a lot of people there that weekend. And I think there were so many people there because it was one of the only haunts that weekend that was actually open, that was in the area when we were looking. A lot of them were actually closed and didn't open up until the 18th, which I thought was very strange. But they had really good reviews online and it was definitely a kid-friendly haunt. There was a lot of children, a lot of teenagers that were running around that were there in groups. So they seemed to be enjoying it and having fun. But as somebody who's been to multiple haunts before, there was nothing really that was like that was great. There was no costumes that stood out as being really awesome. It was like, I, I, I know where you got that mask. I've seen that costume before. I understand what you're doing with that. So nothing was really immersive. Nothing was really super captivating. So that was our first experience. We have a lot more to discuss, but for right now, I just wanted to get one out there before Halloween was here. So thank you guys so much for watching and look forward to the next video, which will be the Woods of Terror in Greensboro, North Carolina. Good night.